Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus and here's your word for the day. When going through hardships in life, have you ever wondered or said out loud, Lord, why? Why am I suffering? Why am I going through this pain? Or even, where are you, Lord, in my time of need? Now those are real and raw questions and emotions that we all face as followers of Jesus Christ. And sometimes we're afraid to be open and honest to God about just how we really feel. And that is why I love that we're going through the book of Psalms. Because it reminds us that it is okay to be open and honest uh, uh, to God about how we truly feel. And in Psalm 44, the psalmist is struggling with those questions of why and wondering, God, where are you in our time of need? But we're also reminded of God's redemption because of His steadfast love for you and I. Listen to what it says in Psalm 44, starting at verse 22. It says this, Yet for your sake we are killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. Awake, why are you sleeping, O Lord? Rouse yourself. Do not reject us. Why do you hide your face? Why do you forget our affliction and oppression? For our soul is bowed down to the dust. Our belly clings to the ground. Rise up. Come to our help. Redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. Wow. You talk about real, honest, and raw. You know, it's easy to forget sometimes that God is with us through the toughest of times of our lives, wondering if He's there, if He hears us, or even if He'll rescue us. But God is faithful. And because of His steadfast love for us, He will always redeem our pain and suffering. You know, Paul the Apostle says it best in Romans 8.35. He actually quotes this psalm when he says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, or sword? Then he goes on to say, as it is written, and he quotes this psalm, For your sake we are being killed all the day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, he says, in all these we are more than conquerors to him who loved us. And then he goes on to say that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. You know, I know sometimes we wish that there was no pain and suffering in our lives and in this world, but we live in a fallen and broken world because of sin. And as followers of Christ, we are called to suffer for Christ. This is why we hold fast to our faith in Jesus when dealing with the hardships of life. Trusting that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who God loves or who love God and are called according to His purpose. God redeems our pain. He redeems our sufferings. Nothing, there is nothing that we are experiencing today that will compare to the glory that we will receive. So, are you trusting Him with your pain and suffering today? Are you trusting that He is your rescuer and redeemer? Because again, remember, nothing will ever separate you from the love of God. Therefore, we can rejoice when suffering for Christ, remembering His goodness and what He's done for us and what He continues to do for us. So no matter what you're going through today, God is our pain redeemer. So let that be your prayer today. Rise up, come to our help, and redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. God bless you and have a wonderful day.